In eastern U.S. storms, there are two fatalities, hundreds of aircraft cancellations, and 1.1 million without electricity. As catastrophic storms tore through the eastern United States, leaving a path of damage in their wake, two people tragically lost their lives. At the height of the mayhem, power disruptions left more than one million homes and businesses in the dark. These storms had a widespread effect on the country, causing the cancellation of thousands of flights as well as the disruption of several people's travel plans. The previous night saw the eastern and southern parts of the country being battered by the tumultuous weather, which was characterized by more than 600 strong storms. The safety of about 40 million Americans was in danger due to the storm front's approach, which led to numerous high alarms and preventative measures. Tornadoes, a manifestation of nature's forces, struck several states, including Maryland. In one terrifying occurrence, utility poles brought down by strong winds impaled the automobiles of 33 people and 14 children, trapping them on a roadway. The devastation left behind is evidence of the mayhem that was committed, it will take a lot of time and work to repair the considerable harm. Maryland's Harford County witnessed the destructive power of fallen trees, which trapped many people within buildings and required intervention. People like the man who just barely avoided having a barrage of trees fall into his house said the situation looks like something out of a post-apocalyptic nightmare. Similar events occurred in Pennsylvania, where uprooted trees took the brunt of the damage to homes and crushed vehicles. Government buildings have visible damage from broken glass, illustrating the ferocity of the storms. Passengers who were stranded had to deal with delays and cancellations that spread to major airports in cities including Atlanta, New York, and Washington, D.C. These disruptions were particularly severe in these cities. The threat of additional unrest looms enormous even as the laborious cleanup effort gets underway in the affected areas. The New England region is expected to experience more severe thunderstorm activity, and forecasters have warned of the possibility of flash floods.